Right guys, we're here with John. How are you doing, John? Very well, thank you. That's good. So, first of all, can you tell us about you know, yourself and your publications? Um, all right, well, my name is John Sommeriva. I'm a local artist from Sydney, Australia. I was born here and um, I've been drawing comic books since about 2002 professionally. It's uh, something that I've wanted to do my whole life um, and I'm very lucky to be able to do this as a full-time job. Um, the stuff I have here right now, these are my art books, which I, I like to put out. I think, you know, in general at these conventions, I meet a lot of fellow artists and people that are just interested in art in general. Like, when you when you meet an artist, you can take a little piece of um, that person's life home, you know, with one of these art books. It's got, you know, they're, they're about 88 pages and it's just got commissions and, you know, different things that I've worked on over the last few years. So, this is the fourth one which I've just put out. You can see my uh, little self-portrait there as I like to think of myself on, on the cover there and um, yeah, they're, they're just fun. I, I, I also obviously work on comic books, that's the main thing that I do. Um, do you want me to tell you the stuff that I got yeah, coming yeah, out? Yeah, I was, was going to ask you. Right now I'm actually working on a Ninja Turtles and Batman crossover which is uh, going to be this pretty big sort of a project that's coming out yeah, and that's going to be uh, published in November, I don't know if I just said that. November, 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 yeah, hey. November. And, uh, <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm working on that right now and it's, you know, the deadlines are crazy, but I'm having the time of my life because, you know, I get to work on these really exciting properties that uh, I grew up on as a kid, you know, like I, I grew up watching Ninja Turtles and I grew up watching the Batman animated series and I get to draw them now. Um, aside from that, I also have a creator own book, which I drew quite a few years ago and we're finally releasing a collection of it. It's called Gemini. That's coming out through Image Comics and um, yeah, I'm really excited that all this stuff now I get to share it with the world. So you mentioned you started back in 2002. Yes. Um, what things did you work on back then? Uh, so the, well the very first thing I ever worked on was a book called Noble Causes which was through Image Comics and um, very, very soon after that I was offered a job with Dark Horse Comics drawing Star Wars. So I did a Star Wars tale story, I think they were testing me out, you know, to see if I actually could do this job. Uh, and that was a lot of fun and, and then I was given my own series called Go Boy 7. And, um, you know, all of this was a very trial by fire learning process. You know, I was a 20, 23, 24 year old kid. I was just having, I, I took it for granted, you know, I was having a, a good time because I got to draw comic books, I was making good money. And um, I, didn't, I didn't work like a professional, you know what I mean? I, I, just, I just did this work, I put it out there, but, and I was learning at the same time, but it, it wasn't until later on that I really, said I'm gonna I gotta do this seriously if it's gonna be a job and be disciplined you know and actually sit there and get my work done I don't know why I'm telling you that because uh, it's a very <laughs> negative thing about me in a way but <laughs> hey but now now I work my ass off right all right yeah <laughs> that's right uh, he's the one with the, with the books so it's all right. yeah look at this look at this <laughs> no, it's good though look, look, we get to see that it's not just you know it's not just rainbows and you know sunshine right? it, it does take a lot of hard work just, oh definitely yeah you, if you if you want to be doing this job it's one of those jobs that you gotta love it you know you really gotta love it because it's um long hours you you're working it, some some days it can be really frustrating you know like um maybe your drawings aren't coming out the way that they should or you're trying to learn how to draw something new or getting familiar with new characters, whatever it might be, you know, and uh, you just got to fight through that basically and you're not getting paid for that, you're getting paid because you've reached a certain level and it's a flat rate, you get paid this much for your page and that's it, doesn't matter if it takes you two hours or 14 hours, you know, or two days, whatever it is, so it's up to you to, you know, manage yourself and, and figure all that stuff out, I guess. So you mentioned um, you've got a crossover with the Ninja Turtles and Batman. How on earth are that? <laughs> the, the, those two sort of like they, they are iconic, but how yeah. did it come about? Yeah, well, it's a it's a bit of a, a no-brainer in a way. You know, you've got these like slick ninja mutant characters, you know, and Batman comes from this world where he's all about his, um, you know, martial arts training and all that kind of stuff as well. So they they and they, you know he's, he's very much about you know hiding in the shadows and all that kind of stuff. So the characters really do fit well together and. Um, more than I even could have imagined myself, you know, starting to draw it, like, I haven't had to adjust my style really at all, it's all, it all just fits together basically the way that it is. And, um, you know, it's just a collaboration between IDW and DC Comics, they're able to, to do this sort of thing, it's, it's awesome, you know, like for the fans and people that are into those properties to be able to do this, it's a really cool time to be in comics, I guess, you know, because they're able to do that. They've, uh, they, they already did one series, which was um, the first one, which was six issues, 
Batman Ninja Turtles, which uh, a good friend of mine, Freddie Williams, he, he did the art for it. And it was hugely successful, you know, it did so well. And, um, you know, now we get to have our chance to do it in the animated style. And, you know, I, I hope we do half as well as those guys because it, it, it was great, you know. So, uh, in regards to the storyline, if I'm able to ask, is it more of a very like serious or is it quite comical or is it a bit of both? Um, it's, I would say it's really, really in the tone of uh, the Batman animated series from the 90s, so that Bruce Tim kind of a style, you know, so it, it, is, it is definitely all ages um, and, you know, there's some fun jokes and goofy bits in it, you know, you're going to get that with certain characters, the way that they interact together, but um, it's, like, for me, it's, it's uh, like, I can only, like, for me, it's, it's fucking cool. You know, like that's how I would describe it. Sorry if you don't like swearing. You can beep that out if you have to, but it is. It's just cool, man. Like just the, the, the seeing those characters and those designs, um, and then the, like the tone of the, the the script just fits perfectly with that. You know, so we're really it's a love letter to that that particular um, version of Batman and also the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles. You know, like. I, I, you know, it's it's everything I could have hoped for, I guess. Almost like best of both worlds. Definitely, yeah, that's a good way of putting it. That's why you're the guy doing the interview. <laughs> you're too kind. <laughs> so, uh, moving on. Um, okay, after this project, do you have any plans for the future? Any other projects you're going to do? Or? Yeah, I do. I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping that this will hopefully, um, you know, get my work out there a little bit more so more people can discover what I do. Um, you know, uh, it's a really good platform for that. And, you know, my my goal, I like to put this out there, you know, just to, just out in the universe, so we'll see what happens. But I, I would I would like to draw Spider-Man. I think that's a comic that really would suit my style. It's, um, it's a character that I grew up reading since I was a kid. And, you know, that's my, probably my next goal after, you know, I've had my fun with the turtles and all that kind of stuff. Right now, I'm, I'm really enjoying what I'm doing. That's an, that's the thing I do, and and aside, aside from that, you know, obviously more uh, creator owned. I have so many of my own characters and ideas that I like to put out there. So, yeah, there's uh, there's there's many years left in life to, to do this stuff. So I'm really excited about that. Fantastic, John. Anyway, thank you for speaking with us today. That's okay, no problem. And, yeah, Pleasure. I will hope to read the, uh, the epic crossover. Yeah, man. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, we'll do. No worries. <laughs> thank you. Cool, man. No worries. See you guys.